Hello, and welcome to another episode of me drawing this time. Yeah, we're actually drawing on the computer. Yes, we're using Mischief, uh, the software, and I'm using my UG2150 graphics tablet, where you can draw on the screen, which is very useful because it keeps improving my drawing skills. <laughs> I need to improve. Believe you me, I need to improve. So I thought I would um, show you something that I do a lot, and uh, I'm going to try and do a series on more of the technical aspects of creating art that I've been going through. <laughs> Things that I've known a long time, since probably the first book I ever bought, which was, uh, I think I put it over there, it was a, book, a Disney book on uh, Preston Blair's animation or something like that, a green one. One of the first art books I got, because <laughs> I wanted to be an animator originally, and I have ended up going on some uh, wild art journey, and uh, and enjoyed every minute of it. But anyway, <clears throat> so here we have this character, and uh, one of the things what I wanted to show today is character construction. So, as you can see, this guy has his head. There's his eye line. So when I do like cartooning and things and anything now, when I'm sketching, I think about how they're constructed. And the reason I do that is because it's going to help me in developing my own characters. Like that, you see, um, I don't always do that, but there we go. There's a nose. <laughs> and uh, and when I'm uh, creating characters I always tend to use uh, simple shapes to get things going and uh, you're thinking about the mass of your character and uh, how much space it's taking up on um, the page and what I mean by that isn't um, <laughs> what I originally thought which was how much how big it is it's how much um, three-dimensional space your two-dimensional um, images take up <laughs> come along got to think fourth dimensionally no that's wrong it's not fourth dimensionally it's three-dimensionally in two-dimensional space <laughs> so yeah so what I've been doing and um, when I create characters I've I always always have been doing this and I got this um, ages ago out of a uh, art book um, I can't remember what it was called to be honest but it was it was one of those typical uh, teach yourself art and, uh, and and one of the things was constructing your characters of course they weren't pushing the characters like these <laughs> like this one this is pushing it, pushing the uh, things, and just to show you that. And that. Um, but yeah, I use this system of constructing things because then you can create your own things, you create your own characters and shapes, and then if you straw with certain shapes, move well, that one actually. Let's move him off. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Um, I'll show you another example because that's what this is really, and um, and yeah, so <clears throat> you're creating these um, construction shapes and then you build on them. So with like this character, I used a red, a light red pencil, and uh, and I built him up. I'm gonna work on this character more because I quite like it, but I can see there's things that are not quite right. But I wanted him to have like this long head, and uh, and then neck. So I kind of kind of got used to doing. Uh, I struggled with this pose. I remember struggling with this pose when I originally drew this. So this is. Uh, Another way that I was this this is the way that I was shown in the book I should say 
So you imagine he sat in there. <laughs> about the other side and uh, yeah these basic uh, construction things just help you so much um, it really does and there was a lot of times when I didn't bother doing this uh, stage so I thought I was amazing <laughs> uh, I thought I didn't need this stage I can just draw straight off but then when I was doing that, I was coming across issues, and then lo and behold, there was problems with my drawing because I didn't spend time constructing. And uh, so, yeah, so I thought I'd go through things like this just to uh, let's have a bit of fun and just do one from scratch and uh, see what happens, really. Let's do another layer. So let's start. Let's construct. Construct something. Um, let's just let's just play to start with. Uh, maybe let's do a head. So that, that's going to be the head. And then there's the uh, and the eyes are going to be here. And um, then. This is uh, what I was showing in the book that I had <laughs> for character construction. And, and then, uh, if you're cartooning and things, you can change from as you see. And uh, mm -hmm, there we go. Let's break that up. Um, and some legs. So what have we got now? What can you see? I'm trying to be creative at the same time. So I see a kind of a um, cowboy type. Cowboy type, I, I can see. Um, so let's put in another layer. And uh, we'll knock that down a bit. And then I'll uh, we'll go into some black this time. So I can see more of a cowboy. There are the gnomes. What kind of nose shall I do? Hmm. Hmm. Keep this quite loose, and then maybe it's something I can work on another another day to make it. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's got a big nose. <laughs> cool, blimey. Oh, what a mess. I don't like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's give him a moustache then. Might as well. Um. I think he's a. Uh, yeah, that's better. Um, chin. There's his head. There's. So, what I tend to do, and I've got to admit, I change things constantly as I go. I start off with my construction of character, but then as as things develop. Things get changed. <laughs> he looks more like a pirate. That doesn't look right at all. Something else I've noticed you can do um, when you're uh, working in digital. 
As you can, uh, you can do a bit more than messing around to start with, uh, and you can mess around as you go. Um, which, in practicality, in like, if you was doing, this has a bit big. <laughs> Just have his hair a bit more neater like that. Yeah, and uh, there's something wrong with that hat, but I'd have to look at some reference or something because <laughs> it totally doesn't look right. Um, I think I know what the problem is. Shrink the little So yeah, I always develop it as I go. I don't. I try not to get too uh, bogged down when I first start, because uh, otherwise that's a bit better. Still not right, but it's better. Um, yeah, I try not to get too bogged down to start with, because I can refine later. It's a bit like uh, painting. You know, you don't want to get too bogged down too soon. Um, you want to get your idea down before you can, before you start going, oh no, that's wrong, no, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is just, I consider this like messing in my sketchbook, which is what I've been doing uh, this morning with a um, few ideas that I've got, a uh, painting idea and things. Uh, so here he is. Um, what is he wearing? I think he'd be wear wearing one of those scarf things. Uh, what are they called? <laughs> I don't know. And then uh, shoulders. So we're using the construction like a skeleton, which is how um, you see it as a skeleton, and it just helps you, gives you a better idea and then you can uh, mess around like I'm doing now a bit more rather than uh, just drawing straight off the cuff which can be a little bit harder at times until I guess you've done more and the more drawings you do you can do that because I've seen people do that they don't even need to construct, they just get it straight away, which is pretty amazing to watch actually. And then, uh, using like uh, sort of shapes and things. Yeah, so here we go, there we go, here he is. That oh, needs to go more like that way around. Those uh, ellipses are wrong as well. That really needs to go more like that, actually. His arms are down, not up, so they need to go down. Like that. And uh, it's gonna be need to. Uh, Try and use, try and use the construction lines. <laughs> Otherwise, you get really long arms like I just did then. And then uh, <clears throat> you've got the body. I think we probably could extend the body so we've got the legs sort of there now. Uh, let's take them out. I also need to have a look at. Um, Good reference as well to uh, work out about that, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, but using this idea again, let me just show you something else. Let's uh, move him down there. Let's say you wanted to turn him around. 
this works really well as well for this. Is uh, let's say we've got his head now. Uh, his head's about, eyes are about there. Let's say his head is now this way, so he's no longer straight on like this. He's now turned slightly, and then uh, by doing that box, egg box. Now, um, we've got one of his eyes here, another one probably about there, and his eyebrows, <laughs> and then that eyebrow, and then his nose, which would be more like there now, and then his moustache. But that egg that you create helps you uh, develop the um, thinking about the three-dimensional space it just helps you and uh, it's something I've started using and I never used to use it <laughs> which amazes me when I think about it and I used to create characters and things and uh, I never used any of these techniques but um, when I started drawing using um, Um, the there's a Simpsons a drawing book <laughs> drawing like Simpsons characters and I started using this um, construction technique to create all the characters I was like amazed because I, I could draw I drew all the Simpsons characters and they came out really good and I followed the system that they used exactly and uh, it worked <laughs> I was like why haven't I been doing this all the time? Um, but to be fair, I've spent a lot of time uh, copying um, pictures and doing uh, oil paintings of things and you don't construct stuff as much. But yeah, this is just a fun little episode on constructing characters. And I'll show you quickly uh, one of my characters that I've used this method on and painted it a bit more uh... so here's a uh, character so here's a character that I've drawn on uh, the computer and I've used that method that I just showed you to do something a bit more complex and uh, took a lot of time on it and it helps with creating like um, fake 3D space <laughs> like I was saying, trying to think three-dimensionally in a two-dimensional image and uh, yeah it's helping so I thought I'd share it and I'm gonna do some more videos and I'm gonna try and um, teach something <laughs> anyway thanks very much for watching this episode and I'll see you at another one cheers bye